Hello and welcome to CGD Games. Something I've not done for a very long while here on the channel. And it's some Train Sim World 3. Um, the Midland Mainline uh, received an update today along with uh, a few other routes uh, that received a few updates as well. I don't really know much about it, but I thought with it being an update, I thought I'll just jump on. Um, I've not created any content for this for a good while, and I thought we'd uh, just enjoy a little train journey together. Uh, see how the game's looking now, how it's sounding. Um, a lot of the updates were quite technical, I think, um, and way over my head. I'd just like to come on here and chill out, relax, and uh, enjoy the scenery and, and driving the trains. Uh, if you do want a lot more information and a lot more in-depth information, uh, check out uh, Tintin57 on YouTube. I'll link his channel down below in my description. Um, he'll be able to guide you through what has arrived. He is a uh, Dovetail Games ambassador, uh, so he can definitely guide you through what has arrived uh, with the patch today. Uh, for the middle and main line uh, more than I can but if you just want to sit back relax and enjoy a little train ride with us you are more than welcome we've just left Derby uh, and I'll sh quickly show you the schedule uh, we're going to stop at Long Eaton um, Attenborough, Beeston and then into uh, Nottingham so uh, you're more than welcome to stick with us it should take us around 28 minutes today's journey uh, first stop, as I said, Long Eaton Station, Platform 1. Now, uh, here's our cab view. I've got both of the windows open. It's a lovely day outside. So I thought, why not uh, get those windows open? In fact, I can put my foot down a little bit. Um, we've got plenty of uh, ample space to get that foot down. There we go. Let's get it up to 7. Let's get it up to the max. We've got a speed limit of 100 miles per hour coming up, so we're all right. And we've got six miles till we get to Long Eaton Station as well. But yeah, I've I've not done any of this for a long time, and I've not actually played it for a long time as well. And I thought, you know what, there's been an update today, so let's get stuck back in. Let's jump onto the middle and main line. This is one of my favourite uh, routes at the moment. really is nice so yeah jump back on and race through the Midlands and see how we get on so straight through a station there sounded our signal letting all the passengers stood on the platform that we are on our way but yeah it is a beautiful looking game especially some of these um, newer routes um, I got not long ago, I did pick it up, but I've not created any content on it yet. Um, the Buxton uh, line that came out not long ago. Um, some lovely steam engine action on show there. So I do need to create some content for that at some point or other as well. Um, that is nice, because uh, I live quite near to Buxton. Uh, spent a lot of time growing up in and around Buxton as well, going to the park there with my family. Uh, had a few days out there in the, in the lovely summer weather. It is a, a beautiful place to visit if you ever get a chance. Let's have a bit of a different view. I love that one as the train's leaving you behind. Obviously, the more simulation one here in the cab. We're just keeping an eye on the speed and the distance that we've got. We've got a green signal ahead in around about 400 yards. But yeah, if you've not checked this out and you and you are on Xbox, um, it is on Game Pass still. And it comes with a couple of routes on there and some locos as well. I definitely recommend playing through the tutorial. And I can guarantee you, you will feel a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, when you first try it out, I was overwhelmed. It took me about four or five attempts to eventually get into it. But uh, I'm, I, I do enjoy coming on here now and again. Um, 
jumping in one of the locos and just enjoying one of the routes really nice um, if if you want any recommendations on, on my because everyone's different on, on what they want to see on a route and type of engines they want to drive so if you want any of my recommendations just ask me down in the comments I can't remember them off the top of my head so I'll have to refer back to the game itself yeah, but I really do like this one the middle and main line it's really nice the engine there passing us high speed train there so we've got a speed limit of 80 miles an hour coming up in 2 miles but we've also got our stop coming up in 2 miles as well so what I am going to do uh, I'm going to put us in neutral now our throttle as we come in start naturally slowing down we are thundering along here now and we've got about a minute and a half till we should arrive ooh a bit of lag there honk my horn at that crossing Oh, hang on a minute, we've got a warning. We have... I've got brakes at full service for What am I doing here? Silly boy, Lee. That's brake two. Oh, we need to slow down now. I may have just screwed this up. Automatic brake one. Where we at 40 miles an hour. We start crawling in here. Station's just ahead. And we're pretty much bang on time as well. We've done really well there, actually. We've got a red signal as well. In 800 yards. Just release the brakes completely. We can just cruise in here. Got a red signal, so don't want to be encroaching that because that will be the end of our route applied full service and I may have screwed this up here we're gonna might shoot a little bit over there but I can cope with that so we'll unlock the doors anybody who wants to get off I've opened the wrong side because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's open the right side this time. And that's that. Oh, look, they're, they're opening again now. Oh, no, what have I done here? Oh, what a fool. Lock. There we go. <laughs> Why aren't those doors shutting there? That's a bit worrying. And I've got to wait till 11.25. Those doors aren't locking. Someone could just walk straight through there onto the track. That's slightly concerning, isn't it? Just... It wants us to press that, I think. There we go. There's that little buzzing noise. Can we leave now? Get those... Oh, for blimey O'Reilly Lee. I'd already locked them. I'm, this is terrible. I do apologise. I'm really, really sorry. We should be leaving now. Right. There. Excellent. Right. Let's rock. Reset DRR button. Okay. Let's reset that. That should... Travis says, traction lock will not release while the cab or passenger doors are open. The doors aren't open. Are they? What the hell is going on? No, the doors aren't open. What's he talking about, Willis? 
Try again. I had the brakes on for a kickoff. Tell you. Hey, and this is why I don't play it very often. <laughs> but I figured it out in the end. <laughs> We've still got that red light anyway, so we wouldn't have been going anywhere for a while in about 400 yards anyway. Crawl ahead, we've still got that red light, so I'm just gonna creep ahead ever so slowly. There's no point putting our foot down. Might as well just creep a bit. 2.7 miles to Attenborough. So this is for me um one of the best looking simulation games out on console at the moment on the current gen it is stunning to look at it really is there we are and now it's gone green so we can stick his foot down and get on our way we are creeping like that we were we were rolling got a nice rolling start and we can get on our way hopefully at Attenborough I don't mess up the door situation again <laughs> Oh dear, how embarrassing. Yeah, away we go. Tootling along. Let's get up to five, six, and seven. It makes a nice change from uh, all the bus simulation games we've been doing of late, anyway. Still public transport, mine, but a different type of public transport, and we are speeding. Let's get that down. Turn the throttle off completely. It's because of this end situation, I would suggest. There we go. Put it down nicely. Release that now, let it naturally slow down on its own. All right there for the moment. An 80 coming up in around about 500 yards. Says I'm driving significantly over the speed limit, which I don't think I quite am. Literally two miles over. Apply a little brake just to get it under again. There we go. And we'll release it again. speed limit to go up any moment now we are only just under two miles away from Attenborough we're arriving at platform one we'll take her up to throttle five I want to speed her up too much we head our next stop on a nice clean arrival this time no messing up with the doors the crossing there which I didn't sound my horn for but not to worry I think we got away with it nobody saw our little secret let me know in the uh, comments down below is this something that you've played something that you do fancy playing said if you are on xbox it is available on xbox game pass has been for a good while now but i'll guarantee you the minute you do completely white train there which is one of my mess ups uh, trying to create a, a livery a livery however you like to pronounce it so there are some completely blank trains <laughs> running up and down on this line <laughs> 
Yeah, I love I love driving this particular train, the class 158. It's uh, a really nice train. Really nice, easy train uh, to drive as well. Beginners like me. There's not much to it. But it's just a, a great feeling when you get it right. The steam trains are a particular challenge. Like I said, I'm trying to learn uh, how to drive uh, Steve, the steam trains at the moment. They're a challenge all on their own, they are. So much to remember. All the different levers, etc. Right, automatic brake too, because we are getting a little close now. As we arrive at Attenborough, fingers crossed we don't overshoot our mark. I think we're going to be all right here. Plenty of platform though. Yeah, we are going to overshoot slightly, but not a problem. Like I said, there is plenty of platform. I don't think we're going to be getting a gold mark on um, this particular journey. Why are the doors taking so long to open? Good Lord. Right, so we're going to jump in our cab so that we are ready. The DRA there. It is going to ask us to reset it. I would suggest. Let's lock the doors. And then locking now, that uh, very recognisable beep. We'll say lock doors. Come on. What is going on? Should be able to get underway again now. There we go. Off we pop. Let's get on the way. 1.4 miles now to Beeston. We are running slightly late, but we just got to get through this journey together. We can do it. <laughs> Amateur Lee. <laughs> Here on CGD Games as he attempts to drive a train. We did once, uh, if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you will know that we did an eight hour shift on Tramsim. And I have considered it doing it with this game. Uh, just doing the same route for eight hours. I have considered it. Uh, but it's finding the time. Maybe if we reach a thousand subscribers. It could be my 1,000 subscriber special uh, to do this for eight hours. I don't know. I've got, I have got a few other ideas, but if you've got any other ideas for to celebrate getting to 1,000 subscribers, we are almost at 900 now. If you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have enjoyed what you've seen today, which I very much doubt it with my very amateur skills uh, of driving a train. Uh, please hit that like button. It would be very much appreciated. It's a really important factor here on YouTube. More important than the subscriber button. Um, more likes we get, the more this video gets out there into the YouTube algorithm. And uh, really does help the channel in a massive way. But... If you would like to hit that subscribe button, that would be appreciated as well to help me get to my target of 900 at the time of recording. And hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content lands on the channel. A bit of building work here going over on our left. I'm going to release the brakes ever so slightly. So we roll in to Beeston on platform one. Let's see if we can get this one bang on. When I was playing this quite regular, I used to be able to get these stops perfect. 
I seem to have lost my mojo ever so slightly. This one could be a good one. I'm going to go full service. Just so we can get it. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oosh. There we go, perfect. Right, so let's wait for these doors to... Open now. They are going to take a while. As we saw at the last station, Attenborough. We're going to want to zoom in on the DRA again. I've reset it already. See if that makes a difference. If we have to do it again. Let's uh, release some of the brakes. Lock the doors. Doors are locking. Doors are still locking. I'm sure it didn't take this long before the update. Doors are still locking. This is madness. There we go. Doors are locked. Right. Let's see by... Yeah, so resetting that DRA a little bit while the doors were still unlocking. Um, still allowed to do that, so that's fine. Got a speed limit of 80. We've got a green signal ahead. We've got a go via location, which is the C line. So it looks like we're going to be changing lines. We head out of Beeston. Now, can we see a castle? We've all heard of Beeston Castle, haven't we? Is there a castle around? Have we gone past that already? Get our foot down. I think we used to do trips to Beeston Castle at school, if I remember rightly. I can't see any castle as of yet. We may have gone past it already and I've completely missed it on our way into Beeston. Either that or it's not in the game. Picking up speed now. Off we go. Here comes another one of those white trains that I created. <laughs> it's a ghost train. <laughs> I need to sort that out. <laughs> it looks dreadful, doesn't it? I accidentally saved it and uh, I didn't mean to. Why it's in here, I don't know. <laughs> I need to get that sorted. I was halfway through making a, a CGD uh, livery as well, livery. But uh, I've never finished it, so I need to sort that out as well, so I can get that into the game. We head to sea line now. 1.8 miles to go until we get there. Nice overhead view there. Got a 50 mile per hour speed limit. And we've got a yellow light as well, yellow signal. It now turns to green. We've got to keep our eye out for that speed limit dropping in about a mile. So we'll uh, start preparing for that shortly. we we'll just take our foot off the gas and start to naturally slow down. We should be all right. Jump back in the cab. We're slowing down to 60 now. About 600 yards away almost. We may need to apply a little bit of brake. I think we are going to have to. There we go, I've applied. Automatic brake one. Should get us down. That yellow signal as well. Two. We just about made it. We 
probably be stopping here. Have to go full service, and I may screw up here. A red light. Thought we were going to have to stop there, but we don't. Another screw up. We've got a red light in 800 yards or so. We might as well just trundle along ever so slightly. As we head to Nottingham Station Platform 3B and C. We uh, should have been there already. We are running a little bit late. We head in. Watch that speed. Take it in on throttle two. Jump in the cab. Knock the speed right down now because we are going to have to stop in 300 yards. We'll apply some brake. We are going over the limit again and we're going slightly uphill. We should stop bang on target, I think, here. At least the brake ever so slightly as we roll in uphill. Letting gravity do its job. As Thomas trundles into Nottingham. Although he looks nothing like Thomas the Tank Engine. There we go. We did that perfectly again. I'm happy with that. Lock the doors for our passengers. Red light ahead. Passengers jumping on. There we go. Objective complete. Let's see what medal we get. And we got a gold, which isn't bad, considering how bad I was then. But thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed watching uh, the video and uh, enjoyed watching, uh, seeing what you saw, uh, please hit that like button. It'd be very much appreciated. And consider hitting that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so you know when I go live and new, can, new content drops onto the channel. So I'll see you all real soon, everybody. Hopefully I'll get some more uh, TSW3 content out very soon. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.